Hey guys, it's 7.29.23 and um, I got some words while I was sitting by the pool um, at 9.35 in the morning. went for exactly one hour, 9.35 to 10.35. And it has three basic sections here and uh, quick changes and my beautiful church. Now, as a side note, I was praying and I got some words for myself and then I was told I need to put out the whole thing and so the stuff for myself is in the beginning but I was told that a lot of it is um, applicable for more than myself okay so I was sitting by the pool it was 83 degrees at 9 in the morning and um, then it started like this here here in the calm before the storm by the water I meet you the cool breeze on your face I am here in not too many days, all will change. The beginning of the end that will be visible for all to see. Only the wise will perceive that the normal that the world knows will never return. As the changes occur, stay deep in prayer. As much prayer as possible. If you must do tasks, multitask and pray while doing them. Pray for your loved ones that need me. Pray for the lost. Pray for your smooth transition to me. Pray for, and then my husband, he will need restraint. He will crave to defend in man's way. Pray your boundaries in protection, especially over yourself and property and immediate family. I will send my mighty angels, but they will need all the prayer power you have to fully function. Yes, I am healing you. It is of some discomfort, but not too terrible. Soon you will be called into action. Just follow my every step and nothing will harm you. Do not allow the magnitude of what is before you to sway your confidence. I will provide everything you need for safety and success. Nothing shall harm my leaders. You do well to wisely deal with those outside of leadership. They need more faith in me, but they will get there. But until they do, your kindness does help them. They look to you. You do not feel what I see, but they do look to you. I am here, the warmth of the sun on your face. Soon you will glow like the sun. All in the world will see. I will protect you. I will allow you opportunities to testify about me. Continue with your frank and tactful boldness. Mockers will stay for the tribulation. To see my own and not acknowledge my presence in them is mocking me. Those who are in agreement will also get my power and have opportunity to testify as others witness my miracles. You will start the revolution, the true Jesus revolution, where the church wakes and spreads the Holy Spirit around and we will bring in the harvest. The second one, quick changes. The world is about to fall apart, not slowly, but very quickly. This will shake many to their core. Much of what they have trusted in has not been of me. And they will have to make choices. To be distraught over their losses or to finally bring their trust to me, those with my holy fire will have no lack through all the changes. A living testimony to my ability to protect and a living testimony to my love. People who are distraught will all have people in their area who have my holy fire and they will have a tangible proof of me and my provisions for those with true faith. They will have the ability to choose to ask why. How are these provided for? What is different about them? Many will wish to have me because of their distress. Chaos, war, the dollar will drop, King Trump will promote the false messiah, and choices will be made along the way. When I come down to see who has true faith, those with true faith will be raptured. Those with true faith will be in constant prayer. They will be focused only on me. They will not have any concerns of global events. They will help and serve all I bring to them. Mine with true faith will share my scriptures and sing my praises. They will be obedient in reverence to all I ask, not because they 
our rules, but because they love and feel grateful to me. These will go in the worldwide rapture. Very few will go at the time of the anointed. The anointed have already been in this state of constant prayer and true faith in me. They know of their soon leaving. After they leave, I will test hearts. I will see who is worthy to lead for the end times harvest. Everyone thinks they are ready. But not until the distress hits will the truth of who holds on to me will be fully revealed. All hearts will be laid bare and the whole world will see the truth of who actually depends on me and not themselves. They will be my leaders. They will be unlikely leaders, not pastors of large churches or famous faces. This will be those who faithfully discipline themselves and always follow me. These will lead. They will see the miracles in their own homes. These are my jewels. To the world, they are nobodies. But to me, they are the leaders of the end time harvest, a high honor. Third one, my beautiful church. My beautiful church, my son's bride, you are ready. What is to come will stun, destabilize, and bring to ruin those who have faith in anything other than me. But you, church, you, my faithful few, are ready. Understand when resting in me, nothing can harm you. Have all confidence in me. True faith through whatever looks impossible to everyone else. This will be our testimony to the world because I will show up. Hold tight because I typically test your faith before I show up. Keep holding to faith and I will show up. I am very proud of you who trust. I am looking forward to using you in a mighty way. Do not try to figure out how or when or where. Just follow my lead. No one on earth has the full design plans for how the end goes. This is purposeful to keep the plans from the deceiver. No combination of my holy messengers have the plans for the end either. You cannot listen enough or read enough to figure it out. What I require is your trust. Just rest in me and be at peace. Those who trust will have a joyful heart for the next few months and together we will save millions. Think of the Israelites. Could any of them have predicted water from a rock or manna from heaven? No, it was not revealed. Just as what is to occur is not fully revealed. I have revealed some things for your encouragement, but the very exciting things I have saved for surprises so you can fully rejoice in the moment. Rejoice that you are living in this historic time. You will be written of in the annals of time. Your faith will inspire generations to stay faithful and understand how terrible the world was before the millennial reign. You will be tangible voices who can stop and speak with these people and testify of my great deliverance. Hold on to your hope because I do not fail. Rest in my truth. I hold all the details in my hand. The time has come to begin to turn the game in our favor. I will first move the winning piece, my anointed, and then I will continue to complete the game to its end with my church. The victory has already been declared. We are already rejoicing in heaven. The days of evil are numbered. Their demise a few chess moves away. Their defeat assured. Do not look from side to side. Do not have anxiety about how the world falls apart around you. Do not have fear as unusual things occur. Just lean into me and trust. The game needs to be played out the way it will in order to save millions. The Antichrist will rule, but it will not be the triumph he had imagined, and it will not unfold like he had imagined either. His demise assured, his reign temporary, his power limited. Rest in knowing that I, the God of the universe, the creator of all, the Alpha and the Omega, I have seen it all. 
and I have made the winning move already, the end assured. Those who already trust me have not one thing to fear. Do not listen to the worldly man, he will stoke fear. Only listen to me. Recall, I will soon speak directly to you. Three days after Julie last speaks, after the human uprising has already begun, listen for my voice. Pray those three days to hear my voice. When you hear me, do not doubt, but instead rejoice and obey. Never relent praying, this is our secret weapon. Some of you I will allow to be in circumstances you feel are not pleasant. Recall always how I worked through the apostles and Paul. At times they were in dire situations. What the Bible does not record is during the situations they were in constant prayer and singing my praises and I provided ways out, healing, provisions, powers that were of me. Why would they be allowed in these situations, you might wonder? It was so more people could be testified to of my power and provisions. Trust me and pray to me in every circumstance and look for my help and be prepared to testify of me. What is to come will be ripe with opportunity for you to witness of me. Always listen and lean into me. I will make all things in your favor. Lose all connection and love for all the material things of this world has. Keep your focus on me. I will show you wonders that you could never imagine. Miracles that are beyond anything this world has seen. Stay strong. Yes, what is about to occur will be turbulent, but this is not reason to fear. Read my words and I will bring you instant peace. Sing my praises and I will bring you instant angelic defense. Pray to me with every concern and I will direct your feet and provide. Keep your gaze on me. I love you, church. You who are faithful and rejoice with me to save as many as will come, you are my true church. This is what the church was made for. Turning souls to me and saving lives for eternity. I rejoice with you who have been praying passionately to me to save your loved ones. I hear your cry. I am moving to break their chains now. Continue to pray. Never relent. Those who will receive their full measure of the Holy Spirit prepare. Prepare your hearts and minds. Take my Holy Communion and be careful what you expose your heart, mind, and body to before it comes upon you. Be aware you will feel it. It will be powerful and different. It's okay. Trust. You will shock those around you. That's okay. You are going to testify for me. In this dead world, the shocking is needed. Recall it will be progressive. Julie, then the leaders, then the anointed, then those faithful that are obedient. Then it will spread like wildfire to all with true faith. I do not lie. Prepare. Once you have my full infilling, you will have differing gifts. This is purposeful. I know what you will need and who you will work with. I know how much you can handle. I know your natural giftings to be worked with. I know what trials you will have. Be grateful, never envious, for the variances between you. See the positives. This is of me. Envy is of the deceiver. Work together. When my righteous come together, their gifts increase in power. It will soon be quite obvious who is for me. They will be the only ones with peace, the only ones with miraculous provisions. If you in your pride feel you are anointed or faithful, but when the hearts are revealed, I judge this to not be so. Repent immediately. Then try to find those with my power and stay with them as they can lead you, heal you, and give you access to my infilling. 
Stay together with them as much as possible so you are not sucked into the mire with those without faith. You can still become the person your pride thought you were. My grace is unending. Be of good cheer, church. In a very short time, all of this occurs. Rest in my peace, focus on me, ignore the news and the chaos your friends without faith wish to draw you into. Simply rest in me. I hope this encourages you and see you next time.